Hey everyone, my name is Anthony Cofrancesco from BrainyFlights.com and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what is a credit utilization rate, why does it matter, and answering the question that I get all of the time, is there a negative impact to my credit score if I have too many credit cards? Or on the same thread, what is the limit of credit cards that I can get? So before we really jump into it, just something that you need to understand is something called a credit utilization rate. So when your credit score is calculated, it's based on a lot of different factors. One of those factors is what is the length of your accounts? So how long have you had accounts open? Do you have any situations where you didn't pay your bill or you were late on paying your bill? But then one really important factor that is helped that, that is used rather in, in determining what your credit score is is something called your credit utilization rate. Now this is a it's a it's a really complex term for something that's actually really simple. And the credit utilization rate just refers to what's the total amount of credit that you have access to over how much of that credit are you actually using on an ongoing basis. So let me make it really simple. If you have a total credit line between all of your credit cards of $10,000 so maybe on one card you have $2,000, another card you have $3,000, and then on another card you have $5,000. So in total you have a total accessible credit of $10,000. Then let's say on a monthly basis you actually swipe your card and you're putting $1,000 in purchases on those cards on an ongoing basis. In that situation, your credit utilization rate would be 10%, right? You're using $1,000 of a total credit line of $10,000. Okay, hopefully that makes sense to everyone. So, what is really important about the credit utilization rate is obviously the lower that number is, the better it is for you. Okay, because what that says to lenders, if you have access to $100,000 in credit, but you're only using $1,000 a month, then they're saying, this person doesn't actually need all of the credit, they're a more responsible person, they're taking good control of their finances, and they don't need all of the credit that they have access to. From what I understand, an ideal credit utilization rate is below 10%, right? Anything underneath 10%, it's gonna help your credit score in the long term as a positive factor. Now, one really important thing to keep in mind in terms of a credit utilization rate is the lower your accessible line of credit is, the harder it is going to be to have a low credit utilization rate. For example, if my total credit line is $1,000, and every single month I know my expenses are gonna be $500, then I'm already gonna be utilizing 50% of my total accessible credit. Versus, if I build that credit line up to maybe $10,000, I can still keep my spending exactly the same, but my credit utilization rate is gonna be lower, which is gonna help my credit score. So why am I telling you all of this? So the point being, and why I always try to push people to get credit cards with no annual fee, is because all that's gonna help you do over time is it's gonna give you more credit cards that are, you're gonna keep open, hopefully forever, which is gonna increase your length of accounts, which is a positive thing, the longer the better, and then also it's going to decrease your credit utilization rate because now you're gonna have multiple cards with larger balances with, I'm sorry, with a larger line of credit, which is going to give you more accessible credit. And as long as your spending stays the same, it's gonna help your credit score over the long term. I think currently between all of my cards, I have close to about $150,000 in accessible credit. I use almost none of that. So it really helps my credit score over the long term do some really great things. The other quick recommendation that I'll make is on an ongoing basis, what you can actually do is request credit increases from your current credit cards that you have. So when I first started, my first credit card that I got was the Discover It card. I think I started with a $500 limit, and then after three months, I had it bumped up to 1,000, and then from 1,000 to 2,000, 3,000, on and on. So the thing is, as you go and request more additional credit from your lenders, it's just going to give you, like I said earlier, it's gonna give you access to more credit, and if you keep your spending the same, it's going to help you over the long term. So if you found that video helpful, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below, 
And then I would also recommend that you subscribe to the YouTube channel for more helpful videos into the future. Thanks so much and have an awesome day.